हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर थ्री इन सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स नैनो साइंस एंड मेटेरियल साइंस एंड इट इज अबाउट द क्रिस्टल सिमेट्री एंड द टॉपिक्स वी कवर इन दिस वीडियो विल बी द ट्रांसनेशनल रोटेशनल रिफ्लेक्शन एंड इन्वर्जन सिमेट्री एंड ब्रीफली वी विल डिस्कस ऑल्सो द पॉइंट ग्रुप्स एंड स्पेस ग्रुप्स एंड एज वी नो दैट एटम्स आर अरेंज इन ए पीरियोडिक मैनर इन क्रिस्टल्स and a symmetry operation is an operation that results in no change in the appearance of an object or crystal and combining different operators gives different point groups which are geometrically unique structures and every crystal falls in some point group which are segregated into seven crystal system and 14 bravais lattices we have discussed this crystal system in last lecture so a symmetry operation is one that leaves the crystal and its environment unchanged and there are four types of symmetry operations one is translational rotational reflection and inversion so these are the four types of symmetries and in translation symmetry a parallel displacement of the crystal by a translation vector or if we translate one point to another point then it is known as the uh, translation symmetry by some translation vector and there should be no rotation and reflection in case uh, translation symmetry and mathematically if we have a point r and if we do some operation or translation vector t with this vector then we have a new point r prime after this translation vector and this r prime should be have the exactly identical environment as r so this type of symmetry is known as the translation symmetry now we will discuss the rotational symmetry and it let us is said to possess the rotational symmetry if after rotating a crystal along the center of axis it repeats the same structure and the angle of rotation is 2 pi by n where n is the integer and known as the multiplicity of the rotation and there are one fold two fold three fold four fold and six fold uh, rotation are possible only and the angle of rotation can be found by 360 divided by 1 that is 360 degree rotation for two fold it is 180 Three fold, one twenty degree rotation. Four fold, ninety degree rotation, and six fold, uh, it is six degree rotation. So these are the types of rotation symmetry axes possible in crystals. Suppose one fold means we have to rotate it by three sixty degree to restore its original appearance because this is arbitrary shape. So we will have to rotate it. through 360 then we get the same structure but in two fold symmetry uh, we can uh, rotate by 180 degree so after 180 degree we can get the same structure in three fold we can get if we rotate by 120 degree then it will give us three fold symmetry in four fold symmetry we have to rotate it by 90 degree and in six fold symmetry we have to ro rotate by 60 degree rotation and this rotation symmetry is denoted by cn or simply n suppose here one fold means c1 or we can write it just one or in case of two fold we can write c2 or two so these are for the rotation symbols for now we will see why a crystal cannot have the five fold and seven fold symmetries so we consider p q r s four lattice points with some lattice translation vector t p q q r and r s these are t and if we rotate it with some angle phi and q point is now at goes to a and r goes to d with the angle of rotation phi and according to the conditions 
of the translation vector because a d a and d should be similar to the lattice points q and r so a d should be the integer multiple of q r that is m into t and we can find out a d equal to a b plus b c plus c d so b c equal to t and a b and c d can be found using these triangles right angle triangle a b q and c d r in triangle a b q this angle is phi so it will be also phi so cos phi equal to a b by a q base by hypotenuse a b by t so a b equal to t cos phi similarly c d in this triangle c d will be t cos phi and if you put the values here a d equal to m into t so a b plus b c plus c d equal to m into t t cos phi plus b c equal to t c d equal to t cos phi equal to m t so 2 t cos phi equal to uh, m t minus t or cos phi equal to m minus 1 by 2 and if we take this m minus 1 as capital n as integer now we know that cos phi can vary from minus 1 to plus 1 so if we put the conditions here cos phi equal to plus 1 means n equal to 2 cos phi equal to minus 1 n equal to minus 2 so n can take integer values from minus 2 to plus 2 so if n is from minus 2 to uh, plus 2 the only integers possible are minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 so only 5 integer values are there and if n equal to minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 so cos phi will be n by 2 means minus 1 minus 1 by 2 0 1 by 2 and 1 and from here we can find out phi as 180 degree 120 degree 90 degree 60 degree and 360 degree and from here we can find out the fold of rotation 360 by phi and for 180 degree 360 by 180 it is 2 fold rotation 120 degree 3 fold 90 degree it is 4 fold rotation for 60 degree it is 6 fold rotation and for 360 degree it is 1 fold rotation only so from this table we can see that only uh, these rotations are possible 1 2 3 4 6 uh, these symmetries are possible and that's why 5 and 7 fold symmetries uh, does not exist and the, it is not possible and we will see also that geometrically it is not possible to have the 5 and 7 fold symmetries that uh, we cannot fill the full space using the 5 fold and 7 fold symmetries so if we have some pentagon and if you fill some space or translate it then you will see some kind of voids are there similarly in the case of 7 fold symmetry we have some voids so we cannot fill the whole space so the, uh, geometrically also these are not possible and mathematically we have seen that 5 fold 7 fold and higher symmetries are also not permitted now there is another kind of symmetry that is reflection symmetry and uh, if we have a plan in three dimension a plan is there and in two dimension a line is there uh, which divides in it in exactly similar parts or we can say that it is the mirror image and it is denoted this kind of symmetry is denoted by m and if we have a structure like this then if we draw a line a single line it can uh, make it in mirror image and it is denoted by a uh, small m and if there are two lines possible which can make the mirror images and it is denoted by m m two, we will write two times because we have two lines so then we will write we will write m m now another kind of symmetry is inversion symmetry and it is possible only in three dimension because we have to take the symmetry with some inversion point and a crystal is said to possess the inversion symmetry if for every lattice point r there should be a lattice point at position minus r suppose here we can see that if we have a point a lattice point at a then there should be also 
let's point at b at minus r distance and symmetry is through an inversion point suppose we have a cube and the center of cube is the inversion center so for every point that is point there should be some point at the minus r distance suppose this is a hand so uh, inversion is there should be for every point there should be some negative uh, point at the negative side also so and it is denoted by symbol i in this image we can see uh, the difference in the reflection and inversion symmetries reflection is through a plane and it is denoted by m whereas the inversion is through a point and for every positive point we should have some negative point so then it is inversion and inversion is also sometimes called one fold roto inversion means if we rotate it by 360 degree and then take the inversion so it is uh, one fold roto inversion is similar to the inversion i and there are also some combinations of different symmetry operation suppose we have a glide or slide combination is from reflection plus translation vector so if we have uh, we can see that if we have a mirror plane and this, there is a this image suppose this foot um, foot is uh, here and it should reflect here but there is some translation so it will little bit translate to uh, upwards so this will go like this so this is combination of uh, reflection plus translation similarly there is rotational plus translation vector uh, symmetries gives screw symmetry which uh, and these operation slide and screw these are called the compound operations or compound symmetry operation and we can see in two dimension and three dimension uh, there are some combinations which make the point groups and space groups and using the rotation and reflection we have the 10 point groups in two dimension whereas in three dimension rotation reflection and also there is inversion so it makes the 32 point groups and if we combine it with the translation symmetry rotation reflection with translation then in two dimension we have the 17 space groups and in three dimension if we add the translation symmetry also in rotation reflection and inversion then we have total combination of 233 no no 230 230 space groups and uh, bravais in 1888 categorized only 40 14 bravais lattices in three dimensions are permitted from these uh, three dimension point groups so these are the only permitted uh, lattices so this uh, can be also so this was all about the crystal symmetries so thanks for watching this video and if you have any queries or suggestions please write in the comment box and in our previous video lecture we have discussed the crystal structure and in next video we will discuss the crystal planes and mirror indices and interplanar spacing so if you are new to this channel then please subscribe this channel thank you very much